everyone today we are going to be doing phlebotomy um, the whole venipuncture process so I've already come in I've talked with my patient identified myself why I'm here and um, what we're going to do the um, patient's ID was already established with two identifiers three if required by your facility I'm going to assess the patient's veins and it looks like this is a good one so I'm going to remove the tourniquet these are clean gloves I'm going to cleanse the area with an alcohol prep pad in concentric circles meaning that they all have the same middle I'm starting at the draw site and rotating out so that I'm moving any oil and dirt and microbes away from the area of which I'm going to draw. Notice I am not blowing it. Um, I am not waving at it to try to dry it. It's going to air dry. Um, I'm going to be uh, treating this patient as if they were a pre-op patient, so that usually involves coagulation studies in a blue top, chemistries in a, um, in a gold top, and CBC uh, hematologies in your purple top. And those are, that's the correct order too. Okay, so I've prepared my, um, I've prepared my equipment, okay, and now I'm going to reapply the tourniquet. So we are above the draw site, which is three to four inches above the draw site. We're keeping our tails of the tourniquet up towards the patient's arm. Uh, we already cleansed the area. I have put my needle in the hub. Now I'm going to put the safety back and I'm going to remove the cap. Here is the bevel that I was talking about, okay? So the bevel is the open part. Um, and then, you know, you have the, um, the part at the end there, the pointy part is going to go into the patient's arm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my left hand, which is not the hand I'm going to be drawing with. I'm putting um, it around the patient's arm and I'm pulling down on the skin with my my left thumb and that is to make sure that we make sure that the skin is taut and it also helps to anchor um, the vein in order to draw from it and it not roll okay so I'm going to then bevel up gently insert the needle at a very low degree okay um, this is a this is a fake arm <laughs> Um, so we have it in now, and the first tube that we're going to draw is the blue top. We push it in, make sure that it goes right into the needle that's on the inside. I don't know if you saw that quick burst of fake blood come out. Um, I don't think we're going to get a good fill with this. Um, these blue tops are old, so the vacuum isn't very good. Oh, I don't know if you noticed, but when I inserted this tube, I had my fingers on the um, holding parts of the hub, and I pulled, I pulled that back, and I pressed the tube in with my thumb. That's so that I'm not jamming the patient with the needle when I do that, okay? So I'm going to pull this out. And um, I have a short draw on that blue top. It's not at the etched area. I'm going to go ahead and put the um, gold top in. Okay, we've got, seem to have good blood flow. So I'm gonna let the tourniquet go. And back again. I know I'm going a little bit in and out of the vein. I'm trying to look at the camera, do this all at once. Okay, and we've got some going in very well into the lavender. <clears throat> so 
so it's still filling. I don't know if you see that. Um, okay, so I have those done now. Um, have my gauze that I'm going to place over the spot where I drew and I'm gently pulling the needle out flip the safety over using your finger, your forefinger. Um, I'm going to remove the hub and put the needle into the sharps container. This will go in the regular trash. You can ask the patient to hold this if you feel confident that they will actually hold it. Um, and then you can go ahead and use the tape in order to secure the gauze. All right, I'm immediately going to invert gently my tubes. This is going to be, um, the coags is a short draw, so that's gonna end up being canceled. Um, <clears throat> and then I will label, if you have an automatic um, label uh, from the system, then you can just put the stickers on here. Um, so I'm putting the patient's information, my name and the date and time. And I will do that on all of these. You always label at the bedside to make sure that um, you don't have any possible clerical error and error of identity. Um, as soon as you're done with that, uh, you put it into a bag or back into your um, back into your uh, tray, and you thank the patient very much. Thank you, Mister. Take your stuff away and exit, and head on to your next patient. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful um, for those of us in class. Please reuse the items that we can. This is all fake and we're not drawing on real people. Um, so reusing the hubs only in class to practice and not practicing on real people, just on fake. Um, we want to save the hubs and um, anything that we can reuse uh, in order to cut down on cost. If you're drawing on a real patient, make sure you always, always, always use new. Okay, never reuse anything with real patients because that's an infection um, control issue. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.